everyone so today I am finally filming my updated swimsuit collection video for you guys and I haven't done a full swimsuit collection since two summers ago this has been so so requested and before I start I just want to say I'm really not trying to brag whatsoever like I have a lot of swimsuits I'm just gonna throw that out there I always have had a use for them because I've always been a lifeguard until recently I just stopped lifeguarding because I just couldn't handle it with everything else I wanted to do over the summer, like work out, focus on YouTube, you know? A week or two ago, just stopped lifeguarding, but when I was lifeguarding, I would wear all of these lifeguarding because the apartment complex pools I worked at allowed us to wear bikinis. All the ones I'm going to show you are bikinis. It's from like so many different brands, and like I said, this has just been so requested. And honestly, the other day I tried on all of them so it could be a try-on haul, and it took like three hours. Yeah, that just gives you an idea of how many there are. Oh, and you're probably going to want to grab some like popcorn and a drink for this video because it's going to be long, so like get comfy. The first place that I'm going to show you swimsuits from is from this online website called Relisiga, and I just got a couple from there, and I actually showed them in a haul video not too long ago. The first one is just this red lace with a blue and white print top, and then just the blue and white print with the reddish pinkish lace, and it has these really cool string details. These are just the bottoms to match. And the next one is this all black top and I love how it has the crisscross details in between It's like a little bit push-up and then I just have the black bottoms to match and then the last one from Relisiga is just this yellow floral print top and I love how it has the roughly details around the side and then just the bottoms to match. Like I said, I showed those in a haul video not too long ago, but the majority of the comments, a lot of you guys are upset because they're so pricey and I felt really bad since they are really pricey bikinis, but you guys know like I love bathing suits so for me like it was worth it, especially I would wear them like lifeguarding for. I stopped lifeguarding like I said. However, I'm actually having a Relisiga giveaway on my Instagram, but it's just for my Instagram followers. My Instagram is at Gretchen Loves Beauty. Go ahead and follow it if you don't already. So all of the details, everything like that is going to be on my Instagram, so go check it out. You'll be able to tell clearly which picture it is because it'll be a picture of bathing suits. I thought that would make up for how expensive they are, me doing a little giveaway for you guys. So yeah. And also I'm going to have those bikinis linked down below as well as some other ones in this haul. Not every single one because that would take me forever and it would be impossible to find some links to bathing suits that are really old. I would say a majority of my bathing suits are from Victoria's Secret, which I will get into, but some of them are really old. Like I said, my swimsuit collection that I posted two summers ago, all of the ones I showed in there are in this one too because I haven't gotten rid of like any. Honestly, I should like clean them out. So I don't have the links to those, but some of the newer ones and stuff I will have the links to. So definitely check out the description box because it takes me a while to get all those links together. Oh, and also in case you're wondering, this yellow top I'm wearing, this is so random, but this is just from Forever 21. I like just got it because I was dressed in it for a photo shoot, like a part of the wardrobe, and I just thought it was so pretty. Even though it's just like a plain yellow top out crisscrosses, and I found it on Forever 21. So if you're interested in this top, I'll have it linked down below too because it's seriously so cute. The only order that I'm really going to go in is by brand, so other than that, it's not really any order. There's like a huge pile right here, so next I'll just show you my bathing suits from Abercrombie. Oh, and also I didn't even mention, okay, I feel like there's so much to say in this video, especially if this is like the first video of mine that you guys are watching. I have a twin sister named Lucy, and we share pretty much all of these bathing suits so if you also think like you have so many like also just think that they're like split between two people also before I forget if you guys know me you know that I love triangle bathing suits like the triangle swimwear bathing suits but I'm actually not showing any of those in this collection because these are all my bathing suits minus the triangle ones because I really like the triangle ones and I honestly probably have like between 15 and like 20 of them so I'm gonna show those in a separate triangle swimwear collection and if you guys are interested in seeing that definitely give this video a thumbs up so that I know you are interested and maybe leave me a comment because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make one of those but I want to make sure you guys want to see it you know so the first top I have from Abercrombie is just this black bandeau top which has this really cool details right here and I just have the bottoms to match and then the next bathing suit I have is just this light blue floral twisty one it's a bandeau and I just have the floral bottoms to match and then I feel like it's almost in that same print I just have a yellow bandeau top that is floral and I don't have the bottoms just the top and then I just have these hot pink lace side tie little bottoms from Abercrombie. These don't have a top. I keep feeling like I'm forgetting to say things. In all of these bathing suits, I'm usually an extra small or a small just for like size reference. And then I just have this white ruffly top from Abercrombie. I don't have the bottoms to go with that. I literally mix and match like 
every single one of these bikinis so that's why sometimes I just have tops and just bottoms not matching ones some sets I have matching though and then the most recent one I have from Abercrombie my twin sister Lucy got for me and it's so cute it's just this white halter top that has the most beautiful like detailing right there and she just got me these blue bottoms to go with it which I'm seriously so obsessed with because they're just royal blue and they have like these scalloped edges so those are all the bathing suits I have from Abercrombie and now I'm going to show you the bathing suits I have from Zoffel and they're like really really cheap they're between I would say all of them between like 10 and 20 bucks like for the full set like they're honestly so cheap and I know recently I did a haul video specifically with these because I have so many of them I've been waiting to address the comments on that video like until now there were so many comments saying that like Zoffel's a scam like they stole your credit card information like all this stuff which I had no idea about like clearly mine turned out okay like they didn't take my money or anything so I guess just be careful but I also saw a lot of comments being like I don't know why everyone's saying this is such a sketchy website like I ordered mine they came within two weeks they're totally fine and I know some people are saying it takes like a while so maybe just be wary that I don't know how many people actually trust this website I personally do I know a lot of people do but I've heard that some people don't so I guess just keep that in mind but all the bathing suits I have to show you from Zoffel are like so nice really good quality I really like them and they're cheap so I feel like it's like a win 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 you know and I will link all these down below since I got them recently I've got this daisy print one it's just like a blue top with some pretty yellow detailing and I just have the bottoms to match then I just have this white and black top with just the matching Matching white and black bottoms and I really like the detail right there and I just have this red roughly top it's just like a little simple triangle one I really like this bathing suit sorry if you can hear people talking downstairs Lucy and Taylor downstairs and then I just have the red roughly bottoms to match and I have this pink paisley print one and I just have the pink paisley bottoms to match I just have this all orange top with some cool colored crochet detailing and just the bottoms to match. I like the way these ones fit. They're a little more cheeky. Then I just have this halter top which is seriously one of my favorite bathing suits because it's just so pretty and just these black bottoms to match. I like how these have the little slits on the side too. Then I just have this dark leaf print top which crisscrosses in the back. Just the green leafy bottoms to match. I have this light pink kind of strappy top with these high-waisted really really strappy black bottoms. I have this orange crochet bikini with just the matching orange crochet bottoms. Also just have it in white. I think this one's really pretty with all the different colors with the white matching bottoms. And this crochet one looks a little bit different than those. I love how it's just like mint blue green color. And then just the crochet matching bottoms. Then I have this other leaf print one. Different than the other one I showed you because it's just like a white background. And then these bottoms are really cute. They're just the bottoms to match. This is probably my favorite bathing suit from here because it's just so cute. It's this white floral top and the back's really pretty. And then just the white floral bottoms to match. Then I have this blue and white tie-dye top with a strappy back. And again, just the bottoms to match. All of these ones from Zoffel are like matching sets in case you haven't noticed. Then I just have this maroon one which is seriously so cute. It's just all maroon, has a little braid in the back, and then just the matching bottoms. Okay, this is really hard to hold up, but you can just see it on. It's just this crisscrossy black top and just the matching black bottoms. And then finally, the last one I have from Zoffel is just this blue and white striped top with some red detailing. And again, the bottoms to match. That is all the bathing suits I have from Zoffel, and like I said, they will all be listed down below. So now I'm going to show you all of the ones I have from Victoria's Secret. And like I said, I think I have the most from Victoria's Secret. And like guys, also keep this in mind. Like I've been buying like these bathing suits since like 6th or 7th grade. Like I've had them for so long, some of them. And I'm about to be a sophomore at BU. So like obviously it's been a long time and that's why I have so many. But I actually still wear them too. Like even the old ones. Like this is probably like, the first one I got in like 7th grade from Target. I'll show it later. But you know, I still wear it. So I have a bunch of these tops that are all the same style. Which I know is crazy. But I just love wearing bandeau tops because then you don't have tan lines. Like bandeau tops are like probably my favorite to wear. So these are literally my favorite style ever from Victoria's Secret. I don't know what they're called, but they just look like this and they're like rouged in the middle. So the first one is just this really pretty paisley printed one. I actually just wore this in like George the other day. And I also have the paisley printed bottoms to match. These are just like the rouged side ones. Oh, and also all of these ones I'm showing you have like a little bit of push up in the bottom, which is good. And I feel like they just look good on. I'm like very flat, as you can tell in the try-on section of this. Like I literally have no boobs, so those help me like a little bit, I guess. Not even really but yeah then I just have the same top in this baby pink color and then I just have the baby pink matching bottoms I have this teal top and these teal bottoms to match okay, and then the next one I have to show you looks very similar to that one but I swear they're a little bit different that one was teal and this one I'm showing you now is like more of a mint green it's like a tiny bit lighter so I just have the mint green top and then the mint green bottoms <laughs> I know I know I'm ridiculous I know then I just have this coral top I don't know why I keep flipping it this way like okay that's the inside whatever these are the matching bottoms and I like these ones because they're really skinny on the side because it's just like a single tie so these are good for tanning then I just have this dark purple top which is so 
why do I keep flipping it around? I keep doing that. <laughs> this one's black on the inside. Ooh. But yeah, I just have this dark purple top with, you guessed it, the matching dark purple bottoms. Then I have this royal blue top, which I seriously love. Like, I just love royal blue. And the matching royal blue bottoms. And last but certainly not least, I hope that was all of them. I honestly might have missed a few. But yeah, I just have it in plain white, and I can wear it with, like, any bottoms. All right, then I'm going to show you. I would say Lucy's my favorite cut of bottoms from Victoria's Secret because I like that they're cheeky so that you have less tan lines. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. I just really like the way these fit, and I think they're really flattering. And all of these are just called the Itsy Bottoms from Victoria's Secret. I don't know why I'm, like, throwing them in the air, like, ooh. The first ones are just these really, really pretty, like, purpley pink color. Love them, and as you can tell, they're very cheeky in the back. And hey, I also have the top to match, and I love this top. This is the only style top I have like this, so it's okay that we're interrupting the other itsy bottoms. I wish I had this in more colors. I don't know what it's called, but it's just so pretty. And I just have these hot pink itsy bottoms. These are really spicy. <laughs> Then I just have them in this white lace color. And then the last two I just have are all black and this pretty mint green like teal color. My next favorite top from Victoria's Secret, which actually match these. Ooh, like perfect matches to go with those black itsy bottoms and really any other bottoms. I just have this black push-up top, which is roughly in the front. And I also have it in this mint green color. These are also very flattering. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Then I just have these push-up tops in like TBT. Does anyone remember these? I feel like people don't really wear them as much anymore, but I still have them. I just have this green one with blue detailing. These are supposed to be like really push-up, but like I'm not kidding guys on me. They like barely do anything because I like don't have boobs. But I feel like in the try and it looks like a little deceiving, but I swear I really don't have boobs. Count how many times I can say I don't have boobs in this video. And I just have it in this coral and pink color. And I swear I had the matching bottoms to these, but I don't know where they are. Aw, this is the first Victoria's Secret bathing suit I ever got, ever. And I still wear it to this day. Like, I literally wore it the other day because it's so good for tanning. It's just this white one with all these multicolored stripes. It reminds me of cotton candy. And the matching bottom. I'm having way too much fun with this. Like, I just love bathing suits. They just make me so happy. And in that same style, I just have this hot pink one and I just have these matching bottoms I feel like a lot of the ones I have from Victoria's Secret are like the double tie ones or like itsy or like the side rouged ones you know and this top is also really good for tanning I know I keep saying that but this one actually is and it's really similar to those ones except instead of twisting in the middle it has like this little like connector dude <laughs> and I just have these all black bottoms to match these are just like the side little rouged ones then I have another favorite type of bottom from Victoria's Secret they're just these really roughly rouged ones because they just look again really flattering on I think and they're just really roughly as you can tell have them in all black they're rouged on the butt I feel like they make your butt look bigger so that's always a plus then I just have it in this white floral print and then I just have these cheetah print roughly bottoms which are seriously so fun and then I just have this white top from Victoria's Secret which didn't really fit into any of those categories but it's just all fringy I don't know if fringy bathing suits are still like in but I remember when they were like a huge like trend and I had to get it I'm starting to realize I think I might have forgotten to try on literally like one or two bathing suits and I don't know if I tried this on but it's just all black it has like multicolored different strings this actually might be from Victoria's Secret pink I think yeah, most of the ones I showed you are all from Victoria's Secret, but a couple of these might be from Pink. So there's that. And then I just have these coral bottoms to match. I think it looks really good together. And yeah, and these are from Pink too. And then the rest I have to show you from Victoria's Secret or Pink, Pink, whatever, are all bottoms actually. And like I said, I really like the rouged bottom cheeky ones. I just have these royal blue ones and then surprise surprise another royal blue bottom these are really pretty braided details on the side guys like come on you could not pass this up then I just have these yellow crochet bottoms which literally I remember used to be my favorite and I would wear them like every single day and I still love them then I just have this all white lace bottom okay and this last bottom I'm really actually embarrassed to show you guys because the tag is still on it because it hasn't been worn so that's really embarrassing because I know I got this like legit two summers ago but I just found it in my bathing suit drawer and I guess I've forgotten to wear it but it is really cute and it's just like this beautiful mint green color with all this black outlines and I've literally just forgotten to wear it so maybe I'll wear it soon. Phew! So those were all the bathing suits I had from Victoria's Secret and we just have a couple more places. I just have one bathing suit from Lululemon which is just this black one and then I just have this black and white kind of like leaf print bottoms to go with. Then I'll show you the bathing suits I have from Adore Me. I think they mostly have like lingerie but they also have some bathing suits. So I just have this hot pink top and then just the matching hot pink bottoms. Then I just have this white and mint green bandeau top which is crochet. I just have the matching bottoms. Then I just have this black crisscross top 
top, which I'm sort of realizing is like that one I showed you from Zoffel. But this one, the crisscross, is like not as crazy as the other one, you know? If you even know the bathing suit that I'm referring to. And then just the black matching bottoms. And then the last one I have to show you from Adore Me is again just another plain black one. It's like halter and has this like design in the middle. And again, just the black matching bottoms. And I'm just going to show you the one bathing suit I have from Target. And this one I like kind of showed earlier. But yeah, it's just this floral print one, which I seriously got forever ago. I feel like everyone and their mother had this bathing suit. I just have the matching floral bottoms. And then I have one bathing suit from Midori Bikinis. I just have this mint green top. I love it. And look at the inside. It's pineapples. And these bottoms don't really match, but I got them to go with. And they're just these navy bottoms with this white print. And these are the most cheeky bottoms I have. Look, I would not wear these in front of most people because they're so cheeky, but they are really good for tanning if you're, like, by yourself. And I feel like in L.A., like, on the West Coast, everyone just wears, like, really cheeky bottoms, like, to the beach anyway. And that's what everyone does, and it's, like, cool. But, like, I feel like in the Northeast, you, like, can't really do that. So, yeah. <laughs> then I just have this one bathing suit from Paxson. It's just all black. This is like the most simple bikini I have. And then just the black matching bottoms. Then I have like one and a half from Forever 21 I guess. I just have this white really simple top and the all white bottoms to match. I don't really wear this one that much because I'm A kind of scared it's going to be see through and B it's kind of boring since it's just all white but it probably makes you look really tan so. And then this black top I seriously love. The back is really pretty with all this like crochet like net detailing. Whew, we are nearing the end my friends. Okay if you made it this far I am like so proud of you like so proud. And to prove to me that you made it this far can you comment down below your favorite Netflix series because I'm like running out of series to watch if you have like a netflix series that you were like die hard like this is amazing like Archie needs to know like comment down below so that i can go watch it so then i just have two tops from urban outfitters and i guess lucy actually told me because she got these but now we like share them like i said we like share all of them these might have actually been supposed to be like bralettes but we wear them as bralettes and swimsuits because they're like the material of a swimsuit but i think you can wear them as bralettes i wore this to a waterfall the other day if you like saw on instagram and it's just this black and white top it's just a triangle these have no padding but like whatever free the nip am i right and it just has this one line in the back it looks so cool like on your back and then in the same style we just have an all black one and this one's also really simple in the back because it's just so skinny you know the last and final place i have to show you bathing suits from are from to die for swimmer and the first one i have to show you almost reminds me of a triangle one because it's like this really thick like neoprene material it's just this all black triangle top and then the black bottoms this is like seriously so thick like can you tell like even thicker than the triangle ones. Then I just have this white top with some really pretty lace detailing. And I just got these all pink sort of cheeky bottoms to go with. I really like pink and white together. And the last bathing suit I have to show you is just this white one. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it's also kind of the crochet style with like the purple and the green like details. And then of course, just the bottoms to match it. Phew, are you guys tired? I'm tired, wow. <laughs> I think just from talking so much. Sorry I get so chatty in my videos. Like this was so long. But I did have a lot of bathing suits to show you. But it was also very long. Because I was like blah blah blah. If you're not subscribed already. Definitely subscribe. And go follow my Instagram. At Gretchen Loves Beauty. Enter that giveaway for those Rella Sega swimsuits. Thank you guys so so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.